get, and others tried to get uh, Republican leadership in the House and the Senate to stipulate, to, to uh, provide that, uh, and to prohibit uh, Obama from putting anything in the trade agreements that would in any way affect the Second Amendment. They refused to do that. So uh, we can't count on if, if people are misplacing their trust here for the Republican leadership from McConnell and Hatch and those guys uh, to watch out for that. They're not. They've already sold out. So uh, there are, uh, you know, when we do the nose counts, there are enough people out there who are still um, susceptible to pressure from the public. They'll fear it if they get enough people out there at their meetings and they start hearing enough from the, from the uh, boots on the ground that uh, they better uh, not vote for it. We saw that, uh, you know, people wrote off the free ta trade area of the Americas, FTAA, you might recall, uh, a decade ago. And uh, we had a big campaign on that. I went to a number of, to Miami and to a number of their uh, big conferences, you might have also. And uh, a lot of people said, hey, that's gone. It's not, we're not going to be able to stop it. Even many of the people on our side said, that's a done deal. They got too many lined up on their side. It was all the same people, all of the same CFR globalists, crowd, all the big corporations. But they didn't have the votes because our side Put enough pressure on them they, that, that, that some of the people who were going to vote for it backed out. We saw the same thing, as you know, with the SPP, the Security and Prosperity Partnership for North America, which was the NASA and NAU, the North American Union. And in their own words, they said the answer is integration by stealth in the Banff documents. So they're still trying it, but we're holding well, them back. Yes, and that's where that's where these people never give up. We have to we have to hold them off and then expose them and route them out eventually or they will just keep coming back with these again and again very well said uh, how are we doing worldwide i mean in your view is humanity really starting to wake up or is it uh, not enough of a response for how fast the, the globalists are moving i mean how are well, you feeling in, uh, in your gut when you look at it on a human level uh it is not very uh it is not very encouraging i ask this of my colleagues around the world and i've just recently been in touch with a number of people in and interviewed people in Europe. And uh, most of them, although there are people waking up there, they don't have anything like we do in terms of alternate media, in terms of programs like yours, of uh, talk radio, of um, uh, organizations on, on the, the moral issues, uh, whether it be pro-life, pro-gun. Oh, and getting back, uh, since I mentioned pro-gun, Keep in mind that virtually all of the countries on both sides of the, both oceans there that we would be aligned with have very strict gun controls. Uh, and they're so, going to have votes on these boards with the future of the documents. Incredible. Absolutely. And so, uh, so we're, we're it right here, really. This is where the battle is going. And so people that think they're going to leave here and go to another country. No, this is it. William F. Jasper, we're out of time. Great job, thenewamerican.com. Thank you so much.